Reality. What is reality? Is reality something that is based on that which is real or that which we have created through our beliefs? Surprisingly, both are correct. But herein lies the problem of today. Reality today is not what's based on what is real, but it is based on what we are told to believe is real. Climate change, racism, bigotry, and so many of these new created phobias. None of this is real. What we see going on right now in America, it was created by evil and perpetrated onto the people. We have people right now that are so scared to even walk out of their home. They don't want to live within this society because they are so afraid and they have been told that you will get sick and you will die. We're learning now that the narrative that started the riots to burn our cities and kill innocent people, terrorize us into submission was all based on a lie. So was that reality or was it based on our belief? Is our belief based on the truth or a narrative that we are told to believe? The same thing goes, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to God. They want to create a reality that is not real and claim this is God. They don't want you to read your own Bible and study it for yourself because then you will see that they are not there for the souls. They are there for themselves. So the reality is based on your belief. And your belief is based on a falsehood. You have been deceived. We know what the Bible says is right and what the Bible says is wrong. Just because man will shame you in public if you think opposite of what they demand, then who are you standing for? Are you standing for yourself or are you standing for God? We must all realize what reality is. Reality is what you can touch, you can smell, you can taste, you can hear, you can see. Not a narrative that has been put forth that does not have your best interest in, at heart, but their own interest in their minds. They do not want you to know the truth, that going about your everyday life will not kill you. You will not kill grandma if you pick up the so-called virus. You may not even know. You'll feel a little down one day or two days, then you're good to go. They are doing this to control the people the same way our churches have done this for the past few decades. They go to some Bible college and they are taught how to teach the Bible, not the truth of the Bible, but how to draw people in. It's about getting people in the pews if it saves their soul or not. There is very little reality left. As I said, we all know what the Bible says is sin and not allowed. So why is it allowed in our churches today? Why is such evil brought into our church and made normal so it becomes our reality? it's right or wrong. We need to get back to the truth. We need to get back to what is right and what is wrong. We need to save our children from the indoctrination of Sodom and Gomorrah as the new norm, as the godly way to be. And we all know that's false. We all know that is a fake reality that does not exist. God does not change, man does. Just because man changes does not mean God will comply. We have to understand, are we following God 
or are we following man? Do you want to be shamed by man or do you want to be shunned by God? I'll be shamed by man all day long. Doesn't bother me a bit. Their opinion of me does not matter. What matters is what Jesus thinks of me, what God thinks of me. That's what matters. That is reality. And it's not created by anybody other than myself on what I have studied and read and learned within the Bible. That's all God has ever asked of us. That's all Jesus has ever asked of us. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The truth. Faith alone cannot lead one to salvation without the truth. You could have all the faith in the world, but if you are being deceived by falsehoods, you could be damned for doing so because you were deceived. Let no man deceive you by any means. And we need to really get back to this in a very dire way. So until next time, God willing, this is no way. Out.